Hello and welcome to Shark Jets, I'm Skid Viz. In this video, I'm gonna use VRIF and show you how to make throwing knives using the prefab that's part of VRIF and some raycasts to detect collision. Uh, but before we get into that, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. At the very least, hit the like button so that uh, YouTube recommends me to people. Now, without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here we are in Unity 2019 LTS. Uh, I have the VRIF system installed, so if you don't have that, make sure to get that. Link is in the description. Uh, I've gone ahead and added a plane to the scene here, as well as the XR rig, and just placed that here in the center. Um, I've also added just a plain cube, uh, nothing special to this cube, just a regular cube, 3D object cube. Um, it has uh, the box collider on it as usual. So we've got that there and we're gonna use that as a place to throw our blade. So uh, the first thing I wanna do here is bring in the knife from VRIF. So I will just go ahead and type in knife and there it is. Let's go ahead and get a little closer. Uh, I'm actually gonna move it between the rig and the cube, and I'm gonna pull it up off the ground a little bit, let gravity do its thing. And now uh, I wanna change a couple things. As you can see, there's a bunch of stuff on this knife. Uh, I'm going to disable this collider here, this top one. If you look at the colliders, you'll see there's two colliders here one for the handle and one for the blade. Actually, the, the, the long one goes all the way down, but we'll just pretend that it's just the blade. So there's two colliders, one for the blade, one for the handle. I'm going to disable the one for the blade because we're going to do something else with this. And then under the rigid body, I'm gonna change the collision detection to continuous just to make sure that it doesn't go through things when I throw it too fast. And uh, that's all I need to change on the knife. Uh, I am going to create a child object. So I'm going to right click on the knife and create empty. And we've got this empty game object. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's stay zoomed in there real quick. Uh, I wanna rename this to uh, Raycast Point. And basically this is where a uh, little invisible laser beam is going to shoot out of the knife to detect a collision. So uh, I'm gonna move this up to where the knife blade starts. So I'll just slide this up to somewhere around there. That looks good. And then I'm going to uh, create a new script here somewhere. I'll just uh, create C sharp script and I will call this uh, knife hit, knife raycast, knife hit, knife, uh, knife raycast. Let's just call it that. That works for me, knife raycast. All right, so we've got that uh, and I'll attach that to the raycast point. And then let's go ahead and edit that. All right, so uh, as usual, I'm gonna punch in some code and then I will come back and explain what's happening. All right, so here we go. Uh, the first thing we wanna make sure we're using BNG because VRIF has some stuff that we're gonna to wanna to be using. Uh, so make sure that's at the top there. Then we'll go ahead and create three variables. Uh, the first one is a private Boolean called has hit. We're gonna use that to determine whether or not the knife has hit something. Um, the second one is a private grabable called the grab, and that is a component that we're gonna get off of the knife that VRIF provides for us. And the third variable is a private rigid body called RB, and that's going to grab the rigid body from the knife as well. And so we're gonna do that in the start method. So we've got uh, this variable we're creating called the knife, and it's just a generic variable here. Um, and we're basically going to get the transforms parent. So if you remember, uh, the parent of this transform is the knife. And so that's what we're going to be grabbing from doing that. 
So we do that here, transform parent is the knife, and then the next two we'll initialize is we will set the grab to be the grabbable component from the knife, and then we will set RB to be the rigid body component from the knife. Pretty simple, we'll do that all in the start so that we have that ready to go later. Next, I'm gonna move down to a method I created down here. Uh, it's just a simple method, private void shoot raycast. All it's going to do is shoot that invisible laser from the handle to the edge of the blade to show if we've hit something or not. So we're assigning the result of physics.raycast, which returns a Boolean, true or false, did we hit something or not? We're gonna assign that to our Boolean has hit. And as for its parameters, it needs an origin position, where's the laser coming from? And we're going to set that to the transform position of that raycast point. So that raycast point is this, so the laser is going to start right at this little point and we're going to shoot it upwards because these, this knife is currently sitting in a vertical position. So we'll shoot the beam from there to there. And that's what's happening in this little method. We're, we're starting at its origin. We are shooting the beam transform.up. So that's the up position of the object. Um, we're catching whether or not we hit something in this out raycast hit variable, which we're not actually using. And then we're specifying how long the invisible laser beam is going to be. And in this case, it's 0.2 F because that's what I know the distance is from this handle to the blade. So we're shooting a little invisible beam straight up from here to here. All right. So then inside of our update method, we are checking a few things. We've got three if statements and I will break those down for you right now. The first one, it says if we have not hit, so this exclamation point has hit means we did not do this. So we have not hit. So if has hit is false and the grab dot being held is also false. So this grabbable component has a property called being held, which will return true or false determining whether or not the object is being held. So if the blade hasn't hit anything and we are not holding the blade, then we will go ahead and shoot that raycast, which we're doing down here, right? If, however, the blade has hit something and it's not being held, so we've thrown it, uh, then what we'll do is we'll disable uh, the gravity. We'll say RB use gravity equals false, and we will enable is kinematic, uh, set that to true that will keep the knife from falling to the ground and it'll make sure that it sticks wherever it's being hit. Then we have one more if statement, which basically just resets things. So if has hit equals true, that means we have in the past hit something uh, and we are now holding the knife. The grab dot being held is also true. That means we've picked up the knife again. Then we will make sure to set has hit to false because it can't hit something while we're holding it. Um, in this situation. And we will reverse what we did to kinematic and gravity, disable kinematic, turn gravity back on, that way we can drop the knife and it can fall back down. So that's all, it's pretty simple. Um, this if statement could probably be consolidated into a nicer uh, setup, but I'm trying to keep it simple so that every block makes sense. So if we haven't hit anything and we're not holding the knife, that means we've thrown it, it's in midair. We'll shoot a raycast from it forward from the blade and determine whether or not we hit anything. If the knife has hit something and we're not holding it, then make it stick by disabling gravity and turning on is kinematic. And if had, if had previously hit something and we're not holding it, then just reset everything, turn his has hit to false, disable kinematics and turn gravity back on. That is it. It's pretty simple, pretty quick. So let's go ahead and pop on a headset and try it out. All right, so here we are in the headset now, and I can just bring that over with my magic powers. And you can see that I can stab the knife into this cube, and if I release it, it will stick in there because now there's this invisible beam going through and detecting that we're hitting this cube. So if I also drop it, you'll see that it sticks there. But if I drop it from the back, it'll just kind of lay flat on the side of the uh, collider. 
So we can just cut into this and let it go. You can also throw it, and it will stick. But if we throw it backwards, it won't stick. Still at an angle there, so that's why it's stuck. Oh, look at that. Slice there at the end. That's pretty cool. And uh, same thing with the ground. You can just drop it and let it stick into the ground. And then not be able to pick it back up again because I can't see it. There we go. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. And there you have it. Quick and easy as usual. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you have any questions and you want to know how to do other things, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. And if I can do it, I'll show you how to do it. All right. So I'm still Skid Viz. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.